Bonds. Hang in there, Narberth. You too, Sharon Hill. The day's progressing and you've almost made it 24 hours without a cigarette. That forecast variable cloudiness the remainder of this afternoon. Still a threat of some showers and clearing and colder tonight. Low of 30. Sunshine for tomorrow with a high of 50. 45 and partly sunny at Philly 15. It really feels like last time I've been in Philadelphia was yesterday. Because <laughs> it was yesterday. And now I'm going back because RP never been in Philadelphia. And... Um, with this trip, I will show you guys how it's in Philadelphia. Now, now I just want to point out that I'm not a tourist guide, but I will do my best so I can show you guys around in Philadelphia, and I will show you a couple, couple nice touristical, historical, huh? Places, places, and monuments and cool things. Yeah. 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 Finally, we are in Philadelphia, and. I wanted to record this vlog or this video for a long time ago because this is one of my favorite cities but somehow it was always or raining or really cold or really hot and today was a perfect day to show you around because I'm actually here with my friend RP and I'm doing this tour for him so while I'm showing everything for him I can also show it to you so just for clarification this is Philadelphia and and this is Philadelphia and and this is Philadelphia as well. And we're gonna start with this building. Let's go. This here behind me is the Eastern State Penitentiary. And this here behind me is RP, my friend. We are here just because of him. <laughs> this prison, the Eastern State, was uh, the world's first penitentiary. And this, this place was designed to inspire penitents. It's like they're not just dropping the prisoners here for three, four, five, ten years just to sit here and then go. They really wanted to get into their hearts and they wanted them to get a true regret whatever, whatever they did before they got in here. This is why I was kind of incorrect when I said this is a prison. It is a prison, but it's, it's a penitentiary. Yeah. <laughs> When they built this place, it was pretty unique. Uh, they got water and electricity here than before the White House. Those were some precious prisoners here. <laughs> uh, and who were them? Well, let's see. I am pretty sure that you guys heard about uh, Scarface Al Capone. Now, this was his cell. Al Capone first got arrested here in Philadelphia because he was traveling home from Atlantic City to Chicago to his hometown and uh, he was carrying an unlicensed revolver. He was imprisoned just because of that in here. <laughs> so this prison is not active since 1971. It's closed and well, it was pretty closed even before that. <laughs> However, this place is closed for a long time now but it was open for 142 years and uh, now that it is closed, that's what it makes this whole place like this horror mood feeling. It's like, it's like Chernobyl in America. <laughs> so you can even walk into these little cells so you can feel how it was to be in here. It was shitty. There is one opening. I guess if it was raining, well, it was raining. <laughs> there was only one person who achieved to escape from here. It was Willis Lick Sutton. And uh, he was a bank robber back in the days, and uh, it wasn't too easy for him to escape from here. He had to dig down five meters into this concrete, and then 30 meters to get out from here, and then five meters up again. He was outside of the prison for like five, six hours, and then after he was caught again, and he was taken back here in this prison for like six more years. Am I right? Maybe. <laughs> Am I right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> he was digging up for a whole year to get out. That's good information. I'm digging it. <laughs> Willis Lick Sutton wasn't even closed in here for, for a long, long time. He was just only here for five or six years. But he said, <laughs> he was like Shrek. He said, it's always better outside than inside. <laughs> there was also a dog who was in prison in here because he ate a pet cat. I think it was the sheriff's cat. He was sentenced for life. <laughs> Here's pet the dog. That's the mugshot. <laughs> for our next stop, we are going to a museum, which is really important for our movie and pop culture. This movie made those steps where we go right now even more important. It's a boxer from Philadelphia. You ever watched the Rocky movie? Yep. You should know it then. Come on, dude. How old are you? 
six. This video will not be complete. I will need to come back here because because of this huge stage here, the rocket. Ah! 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 Oh, got you. The rocket steps are closed, so we cannot run up there. Philadelphia has the largest number of public works of art in the country, and this is the main reason why the city is one of my favorite cities on the whole planet, or maybe in the universe. <laughs> Philadelphia is the first city that requires some developers to use 1% of their construction budget for art. And that's the reason why you can see a bunch of public arts. If there is like a huge building, there's always a monument in front of it. This is the last day of summer. I'm sweating. The road behind me is the Benjamin Franklin Parkway. It has all the flags. Am I too dark? It has all the flags for all the countries on this world. You as a Hungarian, you should freaking know the difference between the Mexican, the Italian, and the Hungarian flag. This one here, my friend. I guess this is not Hungarian, my buddy. No. This is the city of brotherly love. And the best known landmark of this is the love sign, which is right there somewhere. Robert Indiana made this uh, sculpture when my mom was born. Um, I'm sorry, mom. 1964. That was the year when the first Mustang was made too. This building behind me is a Masonic temple. This was called out as one of the great monuments and buildings and wonders uh, of the Masonic world. It was built in maybe 1873. I need to look that up. 1873. I was right. <laughs> Behind me is the city hall in Pennsylvania. This building is a really good example for all the times when America still wanted to show Europe that, hey, we can build buildings like in Europe. And just if I turn 180 degrees to the other side, you can start seeing all these great skyscrapers that were built in the past 50 years when America realized that, hey, we are the US, we can do it better. the dogs out <laughs> the most interesting thing is the ages of the people that were here the youngest was only 26 who's that this man right over here Jonathan Dayton he was from New Jersey he was 26 and the oldest person was Ben Franklin he was 81 so it's a real big span of ages and eight at 81 he was super old because 81 today would be like over 100. Uh, Philadelphia once was the second largest British city. This was when the United States were not United States yet, uh, so this land was still part of Britain. The popularity was only 50,000 in the city, and that was just enough for being the second largest British city. And then when the United States became the United States, well, this city was the capital of the United States until Washington DC was under construction. This behind me is probably the most popular attraction of Philadelphia. This is the Liberty Bell. The Liberty Bell is an iconic symbol of the American independence because this was what gathered all the people together when America became independent. 
this behind me might be the most important building in America. Because two things happen in this building that highly constructed the modern identity of America. This is where they wrote the Declaration of the Independence and this is where they formed the modern form of the Constitution that outlined how this government would function. So this is the look what Benjamin Franklin has seen every single day. I mean, without RP and without the cars and everything. But they are saying that Benjamin Franklin went to and from his house through this passage. So this will lead us to Benjamin Franklin's old house. And this here is Benjamin Franklin's house. Obviously, this was built back in the days when the politician's life was more transparent. <laughs> and there was a bigger clarity from us into the politician's life. Maybe this wasn't the house but this is where the house was. <laughs> and as soon as Benjamin Franklin walked out from here, he went into his favorite bank, Wells Fargo, and then there was his favorite bar, and probably that's his favorite restaurant right there. I'm sorry, I don't want that to disrespect anybody, but this is my style of uh, presenting uh, Philadelphia. And saying that, this was the end of me presenting Philadelphia, because now it's six o'clock, and we have a two hour ride to get home, so let's go. And now, saying that, that's the end of me presenting Philadelphia. Because now it's sickles. Sickles? Sickles o'clock. <laughs> it has the flags of all the countries around the world. World. Baboom, flat word believers. Yeah. Because <laughs> now it's six o'clock. Six o'clock and seven minutes. 